The Story of Josanna. By Eric Hua. Chapter 15 Treason. Josanna was worried as to why Jezebel was here. She thought she wouldn't see her until they had reached Clarion. She was cautious trying to pay attention to her every move. Because she was so focused on Jezebel, Josanna was quiet the entire time which allowed Waswa to speak. Excuse me, traveler, we don't mean any harm. Allow us to pass and there will be no trouble. The woman slowly looked up menacingly. My apologies to your royal highness, but I will not allow you to proceed any further. Then you leave me no choice. Warriors, arrest that woman and make her stand aside. The four soldiers obeyed their king's order and surrounded the woman. Although they had her trapped, Josanna still had an uneasy feeling about the situation. One of the guards called for her surrender seeing as she was outnumbered six to one. Me? Outnumbered, you say? We'll see about that. She waved her hands and her eyes began to turn dark. Waswa and the guards were frozen by her movement but Josanna sensed imminent danger and jumped tackled Waswa to get him out of harm's way. Jezebel unleashed a spell that hit the four guards but missed King Waswa thanks to Josanna's efforts. When the two of them picked themselves up, they found that the situation had taken a turn for the worse. The four guards were now under Jezebel's mind control. Josanna could see Jezebel smiling at their predicament but she wouldn't let that get to her. She had to focus on dealing with the four soldiers in front of them. She was prepared to fight but she knew she had to be careful not to cause them too much pain. She was ready to jump into the fight when she felt the pull of Waswa's hand against her shoulder. Leave my men to me. Go take care of that witch. Josanna confirmed his orders and chased after Jezebel. The four soldiers then moved into formation and surrounded Waswa on each side. Waswa closed his eyes, took a deep breath and apologized to them. Then he engaged the four of them in battle. Josanna continued her pursuit of Jezebel, following her through the forest. You can't run away from me forever. Right as she turned to get around a tree, Jezebel cast a dark bolt that Josanna just dodged in time. Insolent child! You think I'm afraid of you? She continued to cast her spells, forcing Josanna to hide behind the trees. Countless warriors stronger than you have fallen to my magic. Kings have bowed down to my prowess. Again, she had Josanna running and hiding as she kept blasting her spells. You don't stand a chance against me. Even your father and mother lost everything trying to stop me. That last sentence triggered something within Josanna. Suddenly, she felt a surge of rage and she was no longer going to run from her opponent. Jezebel had her hands ready to cast another spell. She tried to talk Josanna out of hiding and she thought she succeeded when she heard a bush rustling. Immediately, Jezebel blasted the bush but nobody was there. She then sensed something attacking her from behind. Thought you could fool me with such an amateur trick? I know what you are up to. When she turned around, she saw a cloth armor flying right at her face. She casted a spell to shatter the armor but that left her defenseless on her blind side. Without her cloth armor, Josanna was slightly quicker and that allowed her to surprise attack Jezebel before she could recover and defend herself. Josanna would continue her barrage of punches and kicks before Jezebel would end up with her back to the ground and Josanna held her sword over her neck. Jezebel, you have been guilty of committing treason against the city of Clarion and for plotting a coup against Queen Clarion. I, Josanna, hereby arrest you so you can no longer cause harm to any other living being. Despite lying on the ground with a sword near her neck, Jezebel laughed. Oh, Josanna, you really do crack me up. As she said those words, her body began to sink into the ground and she disappeared from Josanna's grasp. Josanna frantically looked around and she found Jezebel rising up from the ground, but now she had something in her hand. It was a small cage and locked inside was her lost companion, Hammer. Let him go! Drop your weapon. Josanna listened and let go of the sword in her hand. Right as she did, Jezebel raised her hand in an attempt to fire a dark bolt right at Josanna's chest. 
But out of nowhere, Waswa appended her, grabbed the tiny cage and broke it with his hands. He then allowed Hama to run back to Josanna and finally the two had been happily reunited. Josanna thanked Waswa for what he had done but they knew better than to celebrate too soon, as their enemy was far from defeated. They turned to face their opponent once again and this time, it seemed she had no other way to call for reinforcement. You surprised me, King Waswa. I didn't think you would have the guts to finish off your own men. Don't you dare insult my brothers in arms. They were ready to throw their life away for the good of their city. I will make sure you pay for all you have done. So you found a way to immobilize them without taking their lives. Clever, but weak, just like you were fifteen years ago. Josanna was caught off guard by that comment she made. So she turned to Waswa to see how he reacted to her statement. I have no idea what you are talking about, but I will stop you here and now. Waswa charged full speed at Jezebel and again she couldn't keep up with the king's speed. She was knocked to the ground several times but as Waswa was about to land his finishing strike, Jezebel pulled another trick out of her sleeves. Waswa was forced to halt his attack, as out of the shadows, Jezebel had someone trapped in her dark magic. Queen Claire Anne. Consider your next move wisely. She threatened the king. Josanna looked on to see how Waswa would react. Despite the fact that they should have been enemies, King Waswa chose not to attack and keep Claire Anne alive. As he slowly lowered his guard, a sickle struck him from behind piercing an area near his chest. Claire Anne's mouth was sealed but she saw with her eyes the horrific sight. Josanna also witnessed what happened and she fell to her knees. With a lethal wound near his chest, Waswa slowly fell to the ground. He looked up to find who had stabbed him in the back. The traitor was none other than, Judas. Thank <laughs> you.